guys, it's AM Drums here, and I wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite bands growing up and what bands and artists that I liked uh, when I was younger. Um, so to start this off, I uh, have two other siblings, two older siblings, a brother and a sister, and growing up, we all had a favorite song when we were growing up. Like each of us had a song that we would really get into and our parents thought it was like the cutest thing because we would dance or whatever or sing along to it when we were really little. So <laughs> I actually had those uh, to tell you about. So my older sister, she had this like, I don't know, knack for when she was little, uh, singing along to songs on the radio uh even if she didn't know like all the lyrics i don't know she was really good at that so uh her song was money for nothing by dire straits and that was like her favorite song like whenever that came on the radio uh she would get really excited about it uh my brother really loved mc hammer and so he loved Can't Touch This, that that was just like his jam. And my song for when I was younger, which this is really totally weird, but uh, Walk Like an Egyptian by the Bangles. I used to walk around and do like the whole thing and the, you know, the, like, <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was hilarious and I thought it was funny. And so that was like my song when I was growing up. When I was like really little I love that song so anyway but we're moving on so like my favorite bands what actually like really got me into music I'm sorry this is really funny but like okay my snare like as I'm talking I can hear my voice resonating in the snare so I just put something on top of it that's weird it wasn't doing that before but it just started doing that so I think I fixed it though because I put something on top of my snare I don't know if that'll fix it. <laughs> anyway, uh, you, isn't it funny though, like when you're sitting in front of your kit and maybe like you're having a conversation with somebody or like you're on the, I don't know, do you sit in front of your drums and are like talking to somebody? I don't know. But isn't it funny how like sometimes you talk and like you can hear your drums like ringing like yeah. Sometimes that happens. I'm like what's echoing in here and then I realize oh it's my drums. <laughs> Anyway, so my first favorite artist, my first favorite uh, music that I really got into when I was younger uh, is, of course, the legend Michael Jackson. I was a huge fan of Michael Jackson as a kid, and I just, I idolized him. I mean, he was just amazing. Um, Bad was like one of my favorite albums and I would listen to that all the time uh, along with Thriller because my mom had that uh, record and the movie Moonwalker his actual film that I I would watch that pretty much every night I would be like mom I want to watch Moonwalker before bed like I watched that so much that my siblings got so annoyed that we had to keep watching it and it's so funny because as an adult like I go back and watch that and I just remember like all the cool things about it uh I know like it's like the first half of the whole movie is not even <laughs> a movie it's like music videos but I actually love that about it because I always loved watching music videos when I was younger like VH1 um and uh fuse and all of that um i used to watch music videos on those channels all the time when i was younger so i actually love the first half of moonwalker because it has music videos in it and then you get to like the story and it's kind of a silly weird like just weird but that's michael jackson i mean he's always like so imaginative and he's he always had this like odd vision for things but then it ended up being really really cool so that's what made him so you know awesome in my book anyway so Michael Jackson was always number one for me um then when I got a little bit older my mom started listening to this band Savage Garden which is a pop duo from the 90s 
and I really got into Savage Garden. They were like my favorite band. It was like, I had mixed CDs from back then and it was like Michael Jackson and then Savage Garden. Like those were my mixed CDs. That's all that was on them. <laughs> and so I got really into that. Then my brother got me into ska, uh, which I don't know if you're familiar with ska music, but uh, there are bands like uh, Save Ferris, Less Than Jake, Real Big Fish, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, well, Real Big Fish was my favorite, one of my favorite bands in middle school, and I actually saw them in concert. That was the very first concert I ever went to was a Real Big Fish concert when I was 12 with my older brother. And that was the coolest thing ever. It was so exciting. And I, I can just remember like that night, I remember we were standing right uh, underneath the horn section and like some spit came out of their valve of one of the, I don't know if it was the trombonist or somebody. <laughs> and I got spit on my shirt. And it was so funny because I was just like, I'm never washing this shirt again. Like, <laughs> it's just so funny about it because I was 12. Um, anyway, next up I have Radiohead. My brother really got me into Radiohead when I was about, I want to say it was about the sixth or seventh grade. Uh, yeah. And he, he, um, made me buy Kid A when we went to the um, music store one day and he's like, you are going home and you are listening to this entire CD and then you're telling me what you think. So I listened to it and I was just like, it just blew me away. I mean, it was so out there, so experimental and that's how I got into Radiohead. And actually when I was in college, I got to see them in concert. Although my concert story for Radiohead is not so optimistic which is funny because that's the name of one of their songs. Well, <laughs> what ended up happening at the concert was it started just like torrential downpour raining and I had a lawn seat. So I'm just standing on the lawn with this umbrella the whole time, like holding it really tight because it was kind of windy. And at the end of the concert, I had ended up cutting my hand on the umbrella, on the little sharp piece on the umbrella. And so I was just like bleeding all over the place. And I didn't even realize it until I got in the car. And then I like, I just like went like this. And then I saw a bunch of blood like all over the windshield. And I'm like, what is this? And yeah, it was from the umbrella. So it was a good concert, but it, the seating arrangement wasn't ideal for me. And leaving it with the big cut in my hand wasn't exactly a good memory. <laughs> but uh, Radiohead has always been one of my favorite, favorite bands. Um, Taking Back Sunday is my next one. So Taking Back Sunday, my sister got me into. My sister got me into a lot of the like uh, rock and emo uh, stuff when I was like in middle school and then it carried me through high school. She was always giving me mixed CDs that had different, uh, punk punk rock or emo bands on it so taking back sunday uh was one of my favorite bands i had my email address had taking back sunday in it my screen name had tbs or taking back sunday girl or something like that in it so i was super obsessed with them especially with adam lazara uh who is the lead singer of the band and i saw them in concert with my sister uh, that was the second concert I ever went to. I think I was like 14 when we went and saw Taking Back Sunday. And what ended up happening at that concert, which is like one of my favorite concert moments, it's just one of my favorite memories. We were close to the front. And I remember my sister and I are just sitting there. We're singing along. We're dancing as they're playing and Adam reaches out into the crowd, reaches his hand out in the crowd, and he reaches out and he grabs my hand, and he squeezes my hand, and then, you know, he lets go and he moves on to the other side of the stage, and I told my sister, because he was like my biggest crush back then, 
I told my sister, I was like, I'm never washing my hand again. And I like made it a purpose to try not to wash that hand for a week, but it ended up <laughs> not working out so well. But that's probably one of the best concert memories I have because I mean, I'm just standing there and it's like, wow, like this, this person noticed me and he grabbed my hand and I have a huge crush on him. So it was like the perfect concert. Um, May, M-A-E, is the next one. May became one of my favorite bands in high school, and they actually were a band that um, I got to see a lot in concert because they came to this area a lot because they're from uh, a nearby uh, town. So, or city, I would say, not town. Um, I saw them once with my sister, and I got a t-shirt and I got it signed by the uh, lead singer and sorry I thought I spilled my coffee on myself um, I saw them again in concert with my best friend when they were playing at a record store and that was cool it was a different environment than going to a uh, you know a club like a venue so it was really like the difference between the club and the record store it was just cool to see them uh performing there um i want to say i saw them again at some point but i can't remember when or where that was uh but yeah they were one of my favorites that's another band where i had a screen name that had their name in it i had many screen names when i was younger and most of my screen names had some kind of a band name in it or something i think i had a radiohead screen name too i don't know why i had so many screen names growing up don't ask me um next i have and this was kind of like from going from late elementary school to all through high school, Red Hot Chili Peppers, which my mom got me into the Red Hot Chili Peppers and I've always been a big fan of them because of her. And I am I feel like it's so awesome to share that love for that band with my mom of all people because I just always think that she's the coolest mom because she loves Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's what I used to tell my friends, I'd be like, my mom is the coolest mom. You know why? Because her and I listen to the Red Hot Chili Peppers in the car and we rock out because they're one of her favorite bands. <laughs> and like my friends be like, your mom likes the Red Hot Chili Peppers? I'm like, yes, exactly. Um, so they were always my favorite. Um, so those are like the big ones that I kind of, I guess, obsessed over when I was younger and they were like my favorites. I had in college, I got into sort of a metal phase because of my boyfriend at the time who was like a big metal head. So I ended up getting really into Dream Theater and Opeth. And I actually saw both of them in concert. They were doing a concert together and I think I was like 19 at the time, but it was a great concert. Um, but yeah, they sort of became my favorite bands because my boyfriend liked them. But after him and I were like over and after a few years, I kind of did realize I really did enjoy and appreciate that music as well. So, you know, sometimes you start liking music because somebody else that you like likes that music, but then you end up later on discovering that you really did like it or that you really did hate it. Um, but luckily those were two bands that I really grew to appreciate and love as well. So anyway, that's my list of my favorite bands growing up. And if you want to tell me in the comments about what some of your favorite bands or artists were when you were growing up, I would love to hear about that and talk to you about that. Uh, so thanks for watching and continue to check my YouTube channel for more updates, vlogs, drum covers. I also do karaoke covers and bongo covers. Um, so stay tuned and I hope to see you around soon. Bye.